recipe starts to come out. All right, here we go. There we go. Nice and set. Look at all that blood. Welcome back, travelers. It's Slider Havoc here, and we are back for round two of Happy Wheel. Now, let me remind you at the very beginning, if you guys like this video and you enjoy and want to see more, please hit that like button. It lets me know, and it also gives me a chance to kind of hit on the recommended so other people can actually see some of my stuff. Also, if you're brand new to the channel and you do like what you see today, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more inf more stuff that I put out if you enjoy what you're watching. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. That's enough with the formalities. Let's play Happy, happy Room. I was about to say Happy Wheels. Got that on chat too, but happy room. Okay, so when we left off, we had done the first 15 achievements. Now we're gonna see if we can knock out the next 15. And starting off with travel on saws for 20 meters, okay? Now I think this little build right here was actually a good idea for that. The only problem was he kind of fell through a hole. So we want to kind of do away with his ability to fall through a hole. So we're gonna get these blades a lot closer to each other. And I think I think this should be good. I don't see why it wouldn't. He's just gonna keep traveling on them and keep falling into the hole. And that should work right there. Let's see. I'm gonna do this fast. Speed it up. Into the hole. Into the hole. Oh, it stops when he goes into the hole. Okay. New plan. New plan. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna do some saws down here too. So he's gonna go from that row of saws to this row of saws. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough, um, but I can take these two. That may not be enough because he's not even getting halfway on that first row. Oh, I gotta turn all these. This may not pan out, let's see. I mean, he's traveling like halfway almost. Come on, come on. Go, go, fail. Come on. Okay. We'll come back to this one when I get a little bit more money. We'll come back to this one because I, I think I'm just going to need more saws. But I saw an easy one Tele 10 teleportations. We can do that like cakewalk because we just put it above them. Hey, get back here. If you get just a little bit off the screen, it like deselects what you're on. That's kind of annoying. Okay. 10 teleportations. Let's go. Easy peasy. That was very unexciting, but easy to do, so it's okay. Now we've got shoot seven shotgun shells, uh, deal a thousand minigun damage, and make dummy fly for 15 seconds using miniguns. Okay. Do I have miniguns yet? I don't have miniguns, but I have shotguns. What? Oh, miniguns like the next one. Oh, I was so close to it too. All right. So let's clear this out. Let's shoot with seven shotgun shells. Okay. So... I want him to be in this range right here. Yeah, this should be good. Four, five, six, and seven. And the top one won't hit. So how do I stop him here in the middle? Well, I only have to shoot seven shotgun shells. So if I do the bouncers and I just send him over here, it doesn't say like all at the same time, right? And then I just send him bouncing back up when he falls. That should be, that should work, right? Oh, okay, not. Nah, but I got my seven shots off, so <laughs> that sent him flying. Okay, now stop that. Now we need some max damage, right? I need to get my damage up so I can get this minigun and do this one because the next two are minigun ones. 19 and 20 are miniguns. So let's clear this out. Let's see how much damage we can do with mines here. I want to do as much damage as possible. And these mines seem to do some craziness. And if I can get him to hit all of these, I'm sure this will send him over my highest score. It have to send him over my high score. It just have to. And he's gonna hit like all of these on his just on his way down. Okay, let's see how bad this is. He got them all. Woo! Woo hoo! Yeah. Now that did it all right. That unlocked some stuff. Look how huge. Like, I almost doubled my high score. Okay, cool. Well, I know I got with miniguns now. What else did we get? We got a block. We got a mace and an axe. And we've got the minigun. Okay. So, what do we want to do? We need to do a thousand damage with the minigun. And we want to make the dummy fly for 15 seconds using the minigun. Well, how do I make him fly? 
If it shoots, it's going to shoot him that way. Hold on, can I upgrade this thing? I can't upgrade anything right now. That's the one I need to upgrade. Okay, but I might have money. Let's try the saw thing again real quick. Let's try the saw thing. Okay. So we're going to do a nice little conveyor belt. Like so. And you know, I just thought about this. If I make the conveyor belt go up a little bit, he's not going to go quite as fast, right? Because he's not just falling down. He's actually being pushed up by the blades. So if I do this, and like he falls down here, and then travels back up a little bit, maybe that'll keep him on the blades long enough to get the distance and stuff. Because I know it's not by time, but I've noticed that like bouncing, just bouncing around seems to give you, oh, oh yeah, this is definitely long enough now. This is definitely long enough. However, I want to keep him on. So I'm going to make these last two spin against the direction just in case that works. Okay. So now he's going to travel and then travel back. Okay. Let's try it. And then maybe the fall will give him some, some travel distance. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting close. See, just the bouncing is actually working. Just the bouncing. Those two was, ah, it was a good idea. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. All right. Now we've got the dollar. And now we can go upgrade our minigun. Because I'm sure that means I can put it on the floor now. And so we need to do a thousand damage with the minigun. And we need to make them fly. And if these have anywhere near the power of the shotgun. Or anything even close to that shotgun. That shotgun sent him flying across the map, right? So I'm thinking these... This is what it means by keeping them flying. It'll just hover them above the guns. Okay. Yeah. That actually... I had the right idea. I just need more miniguns. I need more. To kind of keep him centered. These outside ones will shoot him in if he starts to come out. All right. Here we go. There we go. Nice and set. Look at all that blood. No, no. Shoot him that way. Shoot him that way. Shoot him. Shoot him. All right. 15 seconds. Off. Oh, I'm almost to a thousand damage too. Oh, we did the thousand damage also. And we're like over halfway to 2000. We know how we can get 2000. So that's okay. I'm not worried about that one. These miniguns are pretty effective. That was... Oh, I got 2,000. Wow. I just knocked out like three in one shot. That's awesome. Okay, where are we next? Uh, place a weapon on a block. Hit a dummy with five uh, maces five times. And use three maces. And deal 1,500 axe damage. Okay. So we'll go with the maces and the block thing right now. Let's try that out. Okay, so maces were here. Yep. Okay, so they just kind of hang from the roof. That's cool. Okay, if I just do a little chain of them, like this, he'll hit them all on the way down, right? And that'll count as hitting him with five maces, right? I think so. And then the using three maces, I wonder if that's like fully using all its durability. So, if that's the case, I'm going to put a jump pad down here at the bottom. So when he makes it through all the maces, and he'll bounce back up into it. And... Place a weapon on a block. Okay. What weapon can I place on the block that seems like it might be useful? I don't want him to necessarily shoot him off. Um, those all will shoot him. So it's got to be like a gun or something, I'm thinking. Because those don't... Yeah, it's got to be a gun. Um... We'll do the crossbow. We'll do the crossbow. Place weapon on a block. Cool, I got that achievement. I, I don't even need it now. I can just get rid of it. Cool. All right. Uh, what's the other one? Beheaded dummy with an axe. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I put that axe out. What is it? Okay. Put one here. And have it swing that way. And then maybe one on this side. Swinging that way. And maybe I can do 15. We'll see. Let's check it out. All right. Three of them used. All right. We're already in the right direction. Okay. That one's done. Oh. 
What was that noise? Oh, use three maces. Okay. Okay, so I used the maces. Um, I did not get 1,500 axe damage. So we can set something up for that. But the maces are done, so that's awesome. And let's see. What can we do here to get... Those axe... Let me let me clear this out real quick. Um, 1,500 axe damage. Axe spike saw. What does that mean? Seven monster bites. Behead a dummy with an axe. Okay, so let's concentrate on the axes. Can I upgrade these guys at all? Because it didn't seem like they did a lot of damage. Uh, axe, two blades, three blades. Okay, cool. Let's we'll just max it out. I had two dollars or two two euros. We'll do that. Okay. So, oh, that that looks very violent. That looks very violent. Okay, I'm thinking we're gonna kind of do a tornado effect here. So this guy is gonna hit like this, and this guy is gonna hit from this side, but he's gonna hit down like that. And then I'm gonna put some jump pads like right here and one right here. Actually, I'm gonna put two just in case he goes all the way, okay? And then I'm gonna put some spikes right here and right here. And so that way they'll on him. He'll hit him in the jump pads and hopefully they'll go back up into the spikes. Let's see if this works. Nope, they don't hit high enough. Okay, well I got my 1500 ax damage. Oh, there we go. There we go, that was the whole intent. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, this is actually a lot more violent than I thought it was gonna be. It almost seems useful. There we go. Let's just finish up that axe. Okay, so the axe is broken. I'm done with damage. Okay, that was cool. So we got the axe ones out of the way. Uh, behead a dummy with an axe. Uh, I, I don't know how to take limbs off yet. Uh, what else have we got? We got axe, spike, saw. I'm wondering if that just means they have to be done in order. Like, it hits an axe, it hits spikes, and then a saw. Okay, so if I put this guy right here, right, and I have spikes like right, oh, I can't put the spikes on the wall. Did I get any more euros? Oh, no, 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 wrong one. Did I get any more? I didn't get any more euros. Okay, I was like, put the spikes on the wall. Um, okay, hold on. If I put you over here, like this, and I change you over there, right? Then I put some spikes up here and a bouncy pad to send you this way, right? And in case you fall through right there. So it would hit the ax, the ax could knock him up to the spikes and then he could land on the saw. Put that like right there. No, he's gonna hit that saw. Um, so like down here so he doesn't hit the saw. Let's try it. Let's just see what this does. Nope. Nope. That wasn't going to work. That's not going to work. Okay. Well, let's try one of these other ones. Um, we've got seven monster bites. Do I have, what are monsters? Do we have monsters? I don't have monsters. Oh, that might be, must be that next guy right there. Okay. Let's get a few more dollars. Let's get a few more dollars. Going back to old reliable. This is like my way to just get damage. Okay. That is like a million mines. Not really, but it's it's like it. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got monsters. Got a fire gun. Got ice gun. Got acid. Oh, that was look at that. It's like a shadow of his body, like two legs, his body, and then here's his head over here. <laughs> Alright, cool. So now I should be able to do the monsters. Let's check out the monsters. Alright, I got monsters, and what else did we get? an ice gun and an acid gun all right well let's do the these guys first what do you guys do i'm just gonna place like seven of you guys right next to them kind of like i do actually i'm gonna place more than seven just in case like so go okay well he's just laying there so hopefully they land on no they all jumped right over him okay We'll put a portal here, like so. 
and or not a portal but a jumper and then that way there we go oh yeah oh yeah there we go okay we got that one now to finish off we're gonna go ahead and do 4,000 damage and I don't want to necessarily do it with the mines, but we're going to start with the mines. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start with mines. So let's go ahead and put a whole bunch just to start the damage off. Like so. Okay, that's a good amount of mines. Then we're going to go ahead and put a jumper. Right here. Which is going to put him into our spikes. Up here which is gonna then in turn land on this jumper here actually I wonder if we could shoot him all the way across like that and put more spikes over here and then we'll put the other jumper and see if we can just send him back and forth and then shotguns seem to be pretty powerful so we'll do some shotguns I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll see. I mean, the shotguns seem to blast them across the map anyways. So I'm figuring they've got to have some decent power. Oh, only one. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got that 4,000 damage. That was a good way to do it. Okay. And now it's just going to be until those get used up. But that was pretty good, I think. I don't know about you guys, but I'm enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. It is so look at all the blood. It is so gruesome. But he's just gonna keep going back and forth. So, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you guys stayed around and you are new to the channel, don't be, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. If you don't like the material later, just unsubscribe. But hit that subscribe button to see what else I'm putting out. So until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace!